MSI asked if I could check out one of their new laptops and very kindly sponsored this video. The Prestige 14 is aimed directly at creative professionals, featuring one of Intel's newest 10th generation CPUs. Unfortunately, today's video isn't a review, as there's no testing or results allowed to be published at this moment in time, as far as I'm aware. Today we're just having a first look and rundown so you can have a good idea of what to expect this generation. What's up everyone, I'm Mark from Silence Tech. Intel's 10th gen laptops are coming out very soon. MSI have a few different models set to launch with a price of around 1400 US dollars and 1300 UK pounds. The Prestige 4 will be one of the first laptops featuring an Intel i7-10710U, a power efficient 14 nanometer chip on Comet Lake featuring higher DDR4 speeds of 2666 megahertz. Intel's 10710U is well suited for work related tasks like editing, especially if you're using quick sync video encoding. The 6 core 12 thread processor boosts up to 4.7 GHz on a single core and 3.9 GHz continuously on all cores, with improvements rumoured to be up to 15% over Intel's i7-8565U for example. MSI's Prestige 4 also comes with NVIDIA's GTX 1650 Max-Q and 4GB of GDDR4 video memory, helping to deliver faster rendering times in applications like Premiere Pro and DaVinci's Resolve. You'll be able to pick up this laptop as well with either 8 or 16GB of DDR4 clocked at 2400MHz. Storage there's two options, either a 512GB or 1TB Gen 3 N VME M.2 SSD. Ideally you would use an external drive for video connected to one of the Thunderbolt ports. This tiny laptop packs a 4K true pixel display with 100% Adobe RGB and sRGB coverage It's well suited for professionals although the base model only has a 1080p Full HD panel. Screen size is 14 inches, hence why it's called the Prestige 14. Bezels around the outside are smaller than ever this gen. The 4K display takes up a much greater percentage compared to the older models, leaving slim bezels around the top and sides. Both hinges underneath tilt the chassis upwards by nearly a centimetre giving more ventilation. When the display is closed it only measures 319 by 215 by 15.9 millimetres making it feel more like a tablet in the hand. This should be ideal for people working on the go especially since it only weighs 1.29 kilograms. Both the left and right clicks are built inside this extremely long touchpad and there's a fingerprint scanner on top. The chiclet keyboard has white LED back backlighting and the font is bold and easy to read. Pressing any of the function keys up top with FN allows you to control the volume, display brightness and cleverly F12 flips the display horizontally making it easy to show someone opposite you your work. Battery life will last around 10 hours when doing some light work and a bit of web browsing. If we look at the ports on the right side, there's a 3.5mm headphone jack, two USB 2.0 type A ports and on the left side is a Thunderbolt USB type C and one micro SD card slot. The speakers are situated underneath, delivering a decent enough sound that's not tinny or harsh. Since the laptop is so small, its overall max volume isn't loud, but decent enough for when you can't find a pair of headphones. Rounding off, as this video is sponsored, you may have noticed I've tried my hardest to not give any opinion on the Prestige 4. Hopefully I'll get my hands on a finished retail sample soon for some proper testing. For now, all I'll say is, it's great to see laptops improving every year. And I cannot wait to see what's in store for the next gen gaming laptops. My name is Mark from Silence Tech. Goodbye. <laughs>